Hello, my name is Paul Craddock and I'm a solutions engineer for Stratodesk. Uh, today, I am going to show you how to deploy NoTouch Center. NoTouch Center is actually used to manage a NoTouch OS endpoints and is very much an enterprise management tool. We deliver this as a Linux virtual appliance um, and we support a number of different hypervisors, including Hyper-V, Citrix Hypervisor, Nutanix AHV, but today I'm going to show you how to deploy into VMware ESX using the OVA file. So firstly, what I need to do is to go to create or register a VM. In this instance, I'm going to deploy virtual machine from an OVF or an OVA file. I then need to give my machine a name. and select the file that I wish to deploy. Select the data store. So in this case, I just have the one. Click next and then choose the network, whether or not I want the machine to automatically power on. Once I've verified all the settings, I can click finish. And now we can just monitor the deployment process. Okay, so that process is now complete and we should see the virtual machine start to power on. Next, we just need to accept the end user license agreement, and then we just need to specify an administrator password for the login. Great, so once the management appliance has been deployed, um, everything else is done through the web browser. Now, we do recommend that you specify a static IP address. So what you would do is you can go into the advanced settings, network, and set that to static. But just for the ease of use, I'm just gonna keep that with for DHCP right now. So the next step that we need to do just to complete the process is to go to the browser. We can then log in using the username admin. We specify the password that we've created. And there is an important task that we need to complete. And that is the changing the uh, administrative configuration password. And this is the password that is used to change and to log into the local configuration on the endpoint. So we click the link. We specify the password, click save, and we can then go on to manage our endpoints.